So you have multiple computers and you want to control them all with one mouse and keyboard. And you're a former Windows user and you're using a program called Mouse Without Borders. But now you switch to Linux and found it doesn't work. What you could do is go with the solution uh, Synergy, which is a program that allows you to interact using one mouse and keyboard with a whole bunch of different devices. However, in their later versions, they become proprietary software and closed source. They're not, they're less likely to be trusted. However, their original version 1.0 was indeed open source and was forked from the program Barrier, which seeks to overcome the barrier to access all your machines using one mouse and keyboard. So the start, you want to install it on all your machines. So go ahead and do that. In Linux, you can use your package manager, and if you're on macOS or Windows, you can just hunt down your EXEs. So after you do that, you want to go and open up the program. So it'll be barrier. I'll prompt you with the setup screen. So you go in next, and then you select if it's the server or client. We're going to be using the desktop as the server, so we're going to select that. Then hit finish. So this is our IP address, and I'll quickly set up Barrier on our other machine. So we have set it up, and now all we have to do is hit Start. And you see it's running, so it's a server. Then we hit Start on our other machine. And it might take a while. We also have to configure some things, which is configure server is we need to make it so we can connect. So what to do is you drag this monitor over and add it, and name it something, and then go and save that. If you want to get rid of it, you drag it to the trash can. So you do that, and then let's stop, and then start it again, and then let's start on a client. See if they connect. And if it's not working, what you probably you might want to do is instead of using the having it automatically connect, you can manually connect it. So if you put our IP address into the uh, the IP address of, of the host machine into the client machine, you can try that instead. So the if it's not connected, we can also disable SSL. So we can disable SSL on both the client and the uh, server. And then start it up again. And another thing that could be blocking it is the firewall. So the uh, just that. What you want to do is do a, a, a sudo or do as, depending on which one you have enabled on your machine. UFW, if you're using UFW and do allow the port, which is 24800. And then you want the protocol, which is TCP. And once you do that, then well, I've already enabled it, and then do a UFW reload, and that will reload the rule. Okay, so I I've did some testing, I figured out the problem. When you're naming this, this has to be exactly the name as the client. If it's not the exact same name as the client, then it won't work. And if it, and you'll have to not try again. Let's move this over here. And then let's start the server and start the client. Let's see. There, I can't get it work with SSL, so how it works is, uh, since we have it set to be right here, when I go over here, you can now see that I'm controlling the mouse and the keyboard, so I could do something like that. And I could do, I don't know, ping Google um, Oh yeah. Uh,
Yeah, you can do a ping or whatever. You can control it. Do a neo fetch. You can do whatever you want with the machine. It doesn't have to be a Linux machine. It could be a Windows or Mac machine or whatever. So if you enjoyed the video, pl please like, comment, and subscribe. And did you know that 99% of you are not subscribed or something like that? So you should subscribe if you keep on watching these videos. Anyway, have a nice day. Minix out.